wondered what's done to protect athletes here at WVU? I'm Sabu Majarian, and straight ahead on WVU News, I'll tell you what the university and coaches are doing to keep athletes out of harm's way. And straight ahead on WVU News, I'll tell you about one of the best gymnasts in the country competing right here at WVU. And straight ahead on WVU News, I'll tell you what the volleyball team plans to serve up in the Big 12. And straight ahead on WVU News, I'll tell you how the West Virginia basketball team is getting ready with March Madness right around the corner. After losing to Louisville in early February, Bryant was involved in a fight in Morgantown, but luckily got away with no major injuries. His case is just another reason why coaches and players have teamed up to ensure safety on the road and here at home. In just over 20 career meets, Sonoffer has scored over 750 points, putting her on pace to finish as one of the top five gymnasts in program history. West Virginia remains in the middle of the pack in the Big East with a tough remaining schedule. The question Mountaineer fans have is how this team of underclassmen will respond with this season on the line. For ESPNU Campus Connection, I'm Sabu Majarian. Virginia will play Texas and Kansas State for the first time in school history. Even with a 1-9 record against Big 12 opponents, the Mountaineers hope their first season will be a hit. I'm Sabu Majarian from West Virginia University, and my question to you is, how much of an advantage does West Virginia have over Gonzaga by playing so close to home? Being recognized as a star can be rewarding for many athletes, but sometimes that attention can backfire, as senior basketball player Daryl Truck Bryant found out after playing poorly in a nationally televised game. After losing to Louisville in early February, Bryant was involved in a fight in Morgantown, but luckily got away with no major injuries. His case is just another reason why coaches and players have teamed up to ensure safety on the road and here at home. WVU has 17 varsity programs with about 375 athletes on scholarships. In an effort to keep team and players safe, each coach sets team-specific rules. Before home games, coaches can enforce a 48-hour rule. During that time, athletes are restricted from being in downtown Morgantown. For road games, some teams require their players to use the buddy system and send texts when they leave and return to the hotel. Officials say there haven't been any major incidents involving student athletes. WVU also has all sports venues searched by bomb sniffing dogs to make sure players and fans are safe during Mountaineer home games. For someone who didn't know what the NCAA was a few years ago, Italy native Petra Tublasen has come a long way in adjusting to life here in America. Even though Petra says she prefers the small town atmosphere she was raised in, the junior sharpshooter didn't hesitate to pull the trigger, deciding to move to America and be a part of the WVU rifle team. The civil engineering major received a scholarship from WVU and says she's extremely grateful to be here to study. Petra was named the Great American Rifle Conference Shooter of the Year and helped WVU win its third straight conference title. Petra will spend the summer preparing for international rifle competitions and traveling to various cities like Milan and Munich while going to London for her first Olympic Games. That's it for sports. Alex and Josh, back to you. The men's team is looking ahead to the Big East Tournament and March Madness. With only a couple weeks left in the season, the men's team has their work cut out for them. Since 1991, only one team coached by Bob Huggins has failed to make the NCAA Tournament. With a roster loaded with freshmen and a conference winning percentage around 500, that streak might be in jeopardy. There were a lot of questions to tip off the 2012 season for Bob Huggins and the West Virginia basketball team. Could a team with seven freshmen win in the highly competitive Big East? Could a team only returning four players make it back to the NCAA tournament? They got to grow up quick. I mean, they, they've been doing a great job of that, though. Been getting better, asking questions, starting to finally learn plays. So I mean, I mean, it's just it's just good to see that. And, um, I think that we're starting to gel as a team. After testing the NBA waters, Kevin Jones returned for his final season, joining classmate Daryl Truck Bryant as the only seniors on the team. Jones has been a monster for the Mountaineers, making his case for Big East Player of the Year by leading the conference in scoring and rebounding. Of course, I'm not going to force anything. I'm, I'll let the game come to me. I, I know I'm going to get my shots. I mean, I'm playing 40 minutes, so I know I'm going to get my shots here and there. So I just it's just all about not forcing things. KJ could be the first Mountaineer to be named Big East Player of the Year. Jones might not be the only recipient of a conference award, as freshmen Jabari Hines and Keaton Miles have been significant contributors while starting all 24 games. We've won some close games with that many freshmen. I mean, we can 
sit and say they're freshmen and lose, or we can, you know, kind of call them players and try to go win. West Virginia remains in the middle of the pack in the Big East with a tough remaining schedule. The question Mountaineer fans have is how this team of underclassmen will respond with the season on the line. In the six games they've played against ranked teams, West Virginia has just one win. That mark will need to improve if the Mountaineers plan on getting in the big dance. Alex and Josh, back to you. Thanks, Alex and Josh. After failing to make a Big East tournament appearance, the West Virginia volleyball team is excited for a fresh start in the Big 12. WVU's new conference is one of the best in the country. I spoke with the team to see if they're up for the challenge of making a name for themselves in the Big 12. In only two years as coach of West Virginia's volleyball team, Jill Kramer has changed the program. The girls finished atop the nation in Dick's per set and ended a 30-year losing streak to Pittsburgh. But now comes their biggest challenge. We want to get out, we want to battle, we want to compete every single match. And we're going to win some along the way. The Big 12 has the country's number one RPI, with seven of nine teams reaching last year's NCAA tournament. Regardless of one team finishing with more losses than wins, WVU freshman Evan McCoy believes the increased competition will benefit the team. I think there needs to be a healthy balance. You got to go in there with, you know, enough confidence, but also realize that, you know, you're, it's, you're not going to walk on the court and it's not going to be easy. West Virginia will play Texas and Kansas State for the first time in school history. Even with a 1-9 record against Big 12 opponents, the Mountaineers hope their first season will be a hit. Besides all the travel, the new Big 12 schedule will give the Mountaineers more time between games to get ready for some of the top teams in the country. Everything is going to be new, which, you know, you can take it either way. You can take it as, you know, we're not going to know anything what's going on. It's going to be a whole new atmosphere. Or you can take it as, you know, great new opportunities, great fresh start, you know, fresh team, fresh outlook on everything. The team is still working out some kinks in the Big 12 schedule, but will open at home August 24th against St. Francis of Pennsylvania. Although the Big 12 is new to the Mountaineers, playing in the Southwest is not. Last year, the team had a three-game trip to Texas that included a loss to Baylor, one of their new conference rivals. Alex and Josh, back to you. Thanks, Alex and Josh. The West Virginia gymnastics team heads towards the postseason with a 14-4 record, a team rank of 29th nationally, and one of the best gymnasts in the nation. After scoring the third highest season point total on the team as a freshman, Hope Sloanoffer has continued to excel, taking her game and her team to the next level. <laughs> gymnast Hope Sloanoffer has already chalked up 12 league awards and was named the team's most valuable gymnast as a freshman. I mean, I just try to do what I can wherever I can, whether that means being there to talk somebody through a bad day or competing in the Coliseum for my team. It, whatever it means, I just try to be there and do it. Sloanoffer has flipped their way into the top 50 nationally on beam and vault. The Cornwall, New York native is the top gymnast in the league and ranks 22nd nationally in regional qualifying scores. In just over 20 career meets, Sloanoffer has scored over 750 points, putting her on pace to finish as one of the top five gymnasts in program history. I just try to do the best I can every week and give it my all and if I could eventually end up that high up there with Amy and Janae that would be absolutely amazing and I don't know <laughs> just thinking about it just <laughs> blows me away that it's possible. The team's unity and family-like atmosphere intrigues Sloanhofer enough to pick West Virginia over Central Michigan. She could come in here and make an immediate impact and that's the kind of athlete that we're looking for is someone that wants to make an impact. Someone that not necessarily wants to join a team where they'll just fit in, but that they can be a leader and really set a higher standard. With 13 first place finishes this season, Sloanhofer hopes to lead the Mountaineers to the program's seventh league title. Hope will be a big factor as the Mountaineers push for the program's fifth NCAA championship appearance. That's all for sports this week. Alex and Josh, back to you. Were you a nervous wreck on Selection Sunday? Did some guy calling himself a bracketologist have your school listed on his first four out? No need to worry. I'm Sabu Majerian, founder of Brax Masters. We specialize in turning bubble team dreams into Cinderella stories. In 2006, we helped George who? Become George Mason and really had to pull some strings with Butler the last two years. By having star players like Fab Mello suspended, we can help your school like we helped UNC Asheville. 
If you act now, you can take advantage of our special package, which is two brackets and this cool cow. The value of this bonus package is priceless to a fan who needs help filling out their brackets. Brass Masters, where March is all about you getting in, getting far, and winning your office league.